What's up, y'all? We took an L Sunday night, but we will bounce back. Win, lose, or draw, we still going to drop these film sessions. We're going to evaluate, see what we did right, what we did wrong. Um, if you take anything good away from the game, you know that Rain Dakota Prescott is a gangster. You know that Amari Cooper is a gangster. I don't know his middle name. Pardon me. Um, so we're definitely going to uh, do some work on that this, uh, this, uh, this week. And the third film session is going to be uh, basically the, the plays that y'all were pissed off about. I want to take a take a um, closer look at those run plays. I want to take a look at the Tavon punt return and all that stuff just to kind of throw that out there because people bother me on Twitter about it. So those are going to be the three film sessions. Now, with the Dak film session today, is going to be like a Dak and Randall Cobb type of situation. And, and I think we got a Michael Gallup playing there too. Um, but I'm not going to show any Cooper plays today because we're going to save the Cooper plays for the Cooper video. Um, toe tap Tommy. Anyway, let's run it for the cardio. Let's get right into it. I was so impressed with Dak Prescott, man. I was impressed with the 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 growth that he showed mentally and physically you know what i mean in terms of his technique in terms of his mechanics all the, all the things that people gave him hard hard times about we saw the improvement on the screen um also we saw him checking in and out of plays we saw him taking command we already knew that Dak was as clutch as it got um the ball was taken out of his hands at the end of the um at the end of the last drive or whatever we'll cross that road whenever we get there uh, it's probably going to be on your third video. But let's take a look at this, man. Take a look at this pass from uh, Dak Prescott to Randall Cobb. Let's let's take a look at Dak's technique in particular. First of all, we're going to see some pressure uh, coming from B-Gap right here. We're going to see Griffin cross Tyron Smith's face and get um, and get pressure B-Gap. Take a look at how cool Dak is, how he, um, how he gets out of that trouble. You know what I mean? Then he gets out of the pocket and finds Randall Cobb. But let's take a look at Dak's technique while he's doing that, right? Look at him keeping those shoulders square, man, because in order to make a throw on the run, you have got to square your shoulders up. I would love for somebody to go in, go in their backyard and try to go on the run and try to throw a football and not square your shoulders. Watch this. Dak used to do this. And this is a little bit of nuance that I like a little bit, right? When Dak scrambled or any other quarterback will, will, will most likely do this, they'll scramble to the left, but they'll turn their shoulders to the direction that they're running. They'll be running directly at the sideline with their uh with the eyes downfield. Dak ain't turning his shoulders at all because he know he's gonna have to turn his shoulders before he throws it anyway. Dak just says, hey, look, I'm just gonna keep my shoulders turned, <laughs> right? Let's just get down this line and keep my shoulders turned so that's one less motion I gotta go through. That's one less thing while I'm running left, then I gotta turn my shoulders, then throw. Nah, let's just keep them shit square, right? And he um he uh delivers a pretty ball to Randall Cobb. Randall Cobb. Let's talk about Dak Prescott's mental fortitude for a second. He's going to get into a chess match with the boy Harrison Smith right here. Their strong safety has walked down on the line of scrimmage. Everybody everybody, kind of bear with me because this is going to be kind of wordy and lengthy. Okay, um, But I'm I'm doing this because I want y'all to see how fast Dak Prescott processes it, right? As long as I'm taking to explain it to you. Okay, Now, this is a bastard look. It's a look that doesn't make sense. It's a look that's not contrived of... A traditional look that's a you know that's a word that my coach would use all the time right like you know this isn't a cover one look i mean it's a it's a one safety high look but it doesn't make sense in the way that if it was cover one you're the only one responsible for the deep route wouldn't you be a little closer to the middle of the field like that that'll make a little more sense to me like why you cheated over here so much especially the fact that um, is man coverage right now. Cooper has a lot of space down bottom to work with. This cornerback up top is not giving Michael Gallup that much room to work. So it'll make sense if we're double teaming Coop with this safety, this corner would be walked down a little bit and this safety would be deeper, right? Or if this is going to be the guy that we walk down on, um, he would be on this side, right? So it's just not making sense to Dak right now. So Dak is going to exchange the vibes. Remember a couple weeks ago, we talked about that hashtag in my comment section right now, hashtag exchange the vibes. Okay. Um, and this definitely ain't a cover zero look because it's third and six. And that's very important information right there. It's third and six. And if this safety was covering this guy, that's way too much space. That's way too much space. Uh, that's Cobb, I'm guessing. Um, th if this safety was covering Cobb, he wouldn't give him this much room to navigate if it was cover zero. So Dak is going to freeze. <laughs> Dak is going to freeze everybody. 
um, he's gonna freeze everybody to 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 get the real look he's looking for, right? Watch this. He's gonna make an adjustment. He's gonna he's gonna call the audible. Then he's gonna freeze. Huh? You see that when he calls hut right here, it forces you to go to uh, to go to the real spot where you're going. You can disguise all you want to. But if you're uh, but if but if I'm if I'm calling hut, if I'm calling go, then you have to get to your spot or else you're going to be out of position. Right. We see that calling hut. Boom, boom, boom. Right there. Harris is going to bail his ass up out of there. And, oh, that's what Dak wanted. Uh, Dak is excited. So it, I, it it's, it's cover two man now. We see Harrison bailing out of there. It's that cover two man that we're looking for. Based on that look, Dak Prescott is going to call his audible. But notice the extra hand signal that he's going to give to Michael Gallup because we want to take advantage of that open spot in the field, right? If it's going to be too high, then we're going to throw the ball in front of the safeties. That just makes sense. Um, so let's see. Dak is going to watch this. Dak is going to give a hand signal to Coop. But watch this e extra signal that he gives to Gallup right there. Y'all saw that? That extra signal that he gave to Gallup. Mm. We're going to you, Gallup. We're going to you. We're going to turn this thing into a nasty little post. Ah, ah, ah. Boom, boom, boom. And Gallup is going to cut this thing right in front of where the safety would be. That is fantastic. <laughs> Let's take a look at this play from Michael Gallup. And there's a couple elements in this play uh, that made it work out. Uh, first of all, Amari Cooper is going to go in motion. And this defense is definitely afraid of Amari Cooper, man, uh, pregame and after what he did to him. Um, but if Cooper goes somewhere, y'all kind of got to go with him. You kind of got to believe that he's going to that he's going to, um, you know, tear you up. But. We know that Gallup is going to be crossing the field here. Whoops. We know that Gallup is going to be crossing the field here, right? Let's run the play, and I'll show you. Gallup's going to catch the ball on this crossing route. He's going to get up field. He's going to get into the touchdown. All right, cool. Um, we need to clear out some of this space. Pause. We need to clear out some of this space right here. This cornerback, this linebacker, and this safety, they're in our way. So what we're going to do is we're going to use Cooper, and we're going to use Jason Witten to clear these guys. We're going to use those guys to get them up out of the way. Look at that, man. You see how they just reacted to, to Witten and 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 um and Amari Cooper. So with those guys being in man coverage, once they once our receivers get deep enough, once they get to the end zone or just wherever they going, now they got their back turned. They got their back turned to Michael Gallup. So when Michael Gallup catches the ball, they don't even know it. Um, and that's a big reason why he ran so free with all the yak. Another thing um that helped this play work, it's kind of like a rub right up top. I don't really like rub routes, but whatever. Um, um, Cobb is going to basically just get upfield and Gallup is just going to go under him, you know, just to misplace that that cornerback just a little bit. And Eric Kendricks is a smart player. He knows that we like to throw a bunch of slants. So if he thinks that Gallup is probably going to run a slant, he's going to bite real heavy into that into that portion of the field. But he wasn't slanting. He was actually crossing. So Dak just got to wait till he um, – he clears Eric Kendricks and the last part of this play that really made it you know really made it work is that Harrison Smith was coming down on a blitz and Zeke did a did a uh, did a pretty fantastic block here giving Dak the extra time to step up into the pocket get Gallup crossing and to get him in the end zone great play my cable bill was way too high I reached out to affordablesticks.com they sent me a fire stick Plug that thing into the HDMI. Now I get unlimited shows, movies, and live TV. I'm a huge sports fan, so I love League Pass, Sunday Ticket, and I get the pay-per-view fights for free. That's something for the whole family. You can buy a Fire Stick for every TV in the house and still spend less money than you would on cable. That's AffordableSticks.com. There's a link in my description. You should go click it. Cut the cord, man. And so when we talk about these um, these hard counts, we talk about freezing the defense, exchanging the vibes. Hey, man, every now and then when we come up there with these hard counts, we ain't just dictating coverage. Hey, if we can get you to jump off sides like so, this is the moment where you know you messed up. Hey, man, we're going we gonna to get some of those free shots in, man. I would like for Dak Prescott to do a lot more of this. Um, I was watching the broadcast, and I saw him do this. I was like, yeah, man, Aaron Rodgers does that a bunch. It'll be nice if we could do this a lot more often. And sure enough, uh, Collinsworth said it, said it right after that. Um, but not only Dak being aware enough to to uh, get the offsides and to, um, to uh, take our shot – on the deep passes, it was actually a great, a great throw. Look at this throw, man! Right on time. Let's take a look at a cartel view. Cartel view, it, it might look a little better. Let's see. Oh, wait a minute, Carl Lewis! Come on, man! Come on, man! And Randall Cobb is uh is uh doing the Lord's work, finishing up right there, man. 
And this last play I want to show y'all, man. I'm sure this was the moment in the game where everybody just looked at Dak. They shook their head. They say, yo, this dude's a gangster, man. Like, if you don't see this play, let's just run it, man. If you see this play and you don't have faith in the guy and you don't believe that he's going to be the dude, man. If you, if you don't get inspired by this cat, man, like, come on, my G. What are you doing? <laughs> come on, man. Let's uh let's show you cartel view first, man. Cause the cartel view does a good job of really painting the picture of how of how stressful this situation was, man. Ty Ty Tyron Smith got beat to the inside. Unfortunately, man. Everson Griff is really good. Whatever. Tyron Smith is gonna get beat to the inside. And Dak has got look, just <laughs> look at Dak's eyes right there, right? Picking up on the pressure. And unfortunately, Leo Collins kind of got beat right here too, right? But Dak is going to see that and escape from it. And as soon as he escapes from it, he gets his eyes right back downfield, man. Showing that awareness, showing that timing, showing that that knowledge of his plays and playbooks, man, to where he, he, he can put his head down, pick it back up and still know where everything is, man. Cerebral. Um, we talked about this on the last um, on the last uh, few few uh, plays, right? I think the very first play I showed y'all. Not sure how uh, how I'm gonna edit it, but keeping his keeping the shoulder square, man. You've got to square those shoulders. And what I like about him is that he's gonna square his shoulders before it's time to throw. Like not right before, but he's gonna square them and keep running while they square, keeping his eyes downfield and making the throw, making it happen, man. The improv skills. Um, this is an Amari Cooper play. And I'm basically doing this as a cliffhanger, like a segue to the next video, or whatever this will be in the um, in the Cooper film session. I don't know, maybe, but for Dak to be able to 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 sense that pressure, keep it going, and get and just getting out of there, man, making a play, it's very Russell Wilson esque, you know. And if Russell Wilson is Dak ceiling, um, you know, then 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 everybody has got to feel good about it, man. Uh, you got to pay that dude tomorrow. You, you got to pay him immediately. I, I'm ready to go ahead and lock this up. I'm all in with Dak. Let's make it happen. Um, I got a Patreon. If y'all like the content that I do here, man, just a small little donation a month, man. One dollar a month, man. It's $12 a year. It, it ain't nothing. You wouldn't even know it's gone. You wouldn't even know it's gone, and it helps me a bunch. We got Patreon, Patreon rewards over there I want to add. Add to those. I might do some uh, Dallas Cowboy um, college film session. You know, like some Randall Cobb in Kentucky, um, some Dak in Mississippi State, um, Zeke at Ohio State. I might do, I might do some of those film sessions. So uh, go sub to my Patreon and you know see what we do over there. Follow me on Twitter V O C H L O N B A R D I and hit the notification bell so you know when I drop these random film sessions because I drop three of them per week. Um, if you have the notifications on, but you're not getting the notifications, then unhit the bell, like hit it to undo it, then hit it to cut it back on. And that'll probably uh, fix your issues there. All right, y'all hold it down for the Doski Walski and the Peace Whiskey, man. Till next time, peace. After canceling my cable, I saved $2,400 this year by switching to Beast TV through channelsforcheap.com. Some people pay 200 plus dollars a month. I paid 120 a year, or you can go 15 a month if that's what's convenient for you. You get 2,500 HD channels. A thousand of those are in English and there are plenty of other international channels, TV guide, and we get all the sports. One of my favorite things is this multi-screen feature. So if I don't know what I want to watch, I can tune into four different channels at one time that you can watch on four different devices and it's available on fire sticks, smart TVs, tablets. And if you're on the go, you can watch TV on your phone. Hit the link in my description or go to channelsforcheap.com where you can get a free seven day trial. That's a whole week for you to just sit down and play with it and see what you like about it. Then come back and make a purchase. Because if you have any questions, go to channelsforcheap.com, hit this little button right here and they'll respond to you immediately. That is channels number four cheap.com. The link is in the description. I highly recommend it. Let's do it. The YouTube Illuminati is taking money away from your favorite content creators, and people often ask the best way to support the channel directly. I tell them that subscribing on my Patreon. Just $1 a month would increase production and the frequency of uploads. Basically, that means more content for you. For less than a bag of almond M&Ms, you can support the channel, call dibs on requests for future videos, and you can have access to Patreon-exclusive material like my throwback film sessions. That's patreon.com slash Lombardi. I appreciate the support. Doski Woski. Salute.